Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we'll do a short overview of a new asset management mobile application that became available in D365 version 32. This application is meant to be used by maintenance workers to create new maintenance requests as well as to update existing work orders. This is a power app and it's meant to replace a legacy mobile application. For this demo, I'll use few work orders and one of them is right here. I have added several work order lines with an asset and maintenance job type. And I've also created a schedule for that work order and assigned it to my worker right here. When we open mobile application, we will be taken to this screen. First, I'll start with demonstration on how to create a new maintenance request. I will click on request button on the top. And here I will need to either search for an asset or I can scan the asset ID or QR code. I'm gonna use the scan option. In here I have a barcode that represents my asset ID. I'm gonna scan it. Once it is scanned, asset ID will be displayed. I will select it. And now I will need to enter some details. Then select the service level. And I will also add several pictures. So I'm gonna click on add photos. And we can also add another photo. With these pictures taken, I will click on submit. And that will give us that message saying that the maintenance request 69 has been created. I will navigate back and open the list of all the maintenance requests. Here's a request I just created. And if we click on paperclip, we'll see two attachments that I just did. The home screen shows me the list of all the active jobs that have been assigned to me as a worker. This list is sorted alphabetically. So the jobs from the work order 22, for example, will show up before a single job for the work order 23. By looking at it, there is no way to sort the jobs based on the criticality or the service level associated with the work order. I can also look at the list of work orders assigned to me by clicking on the work orders button right here. Now let's go back to the list of the jobs. Select one of the jobs right here. And here are the actions that I can perform for each job. First, I can see there is one attachment associated with this job, and that was me attaching it on the work order in the system. So I can click on view. I can see the attachment name, but I cannot open it. By clicking on it, nothing really happens here. This is a preview app, so maybe that's a bug that will be removed later on. Let's go back. I can also enter the time. So let me just click on adjust and let me just select, for example, 15 minutes here and click on confirm. What that will do is will create a work order hour journal and it will be created for a default hour category defined in asset management parameters. It does not pull from a default project category defined on the worker record. We can also go and specify items to consume. Click on add items. Here I can either scan the barcode or QR code for an item or search for it. Here's the part that I will add, specify the quantities and click on confirm. That will also create a work order journal for that item and will keep it open until I post it. Let's go back. By scrolling down, I can see the list of all the jobs associated with an asset. As well, I can look at the, all the jobs associated with a functional location to which that asset is assigned. In this case, I see all the jobs associated with machine room 001 functional location. Let's go back. I can also review and complete the checklists. Here's a checklist button here on the top. Here is a simple pass or fail test. I will click on it, select the result. Let's say it's a pass, enter some details and click on mark as checked. That will mark that checklist as completed. And also right here, I can go to the related work order and I can change the work order state. So let me change it from scheduled to let's say completed. Let's go back to our main screen right here. Now let's take a look at the work order in D365. We see the status has been scheduled, but if we refresh that screen, we see that the state has been changed to completed. Another thing we're gonna look at is the maintenance checklist. Let's take a look at this. Let's select the second line for which that checklist was defined. We can see the results have been entered, the value has been entered as yes, and the checklist has been marked as checked. Let's go back. And the last thing we'll review are the work order journals. Click on the journals button right here. And we can see there are two journal lines, one for an hour 
and those were 0.25 of an hour or 15 minutes that we have entered. And this is the default hour project category. And here is a line for an item, for the item 1010. And if we look to the right, we see the quantity here is three. So the only thing that is remaining is for the supervisor or manager to review these journals and post them. That is all for this video. I think this is a very good start on the asset management application. I think Microsoft team has done a great job. And I think it's only in the beginning. This app is still in preview, as I mentioned. So there will be more features added in the future. That is all I wanted to show to you today. I hope you found that video useful. Until the next time, take care.